what do you think is uh, Corona Backlatchan's contribution to the civic studies in India? I would say, um, I would look at it in two ways. Uh, firstly, the, the obvious one from what I've said so far, as uh, introducing modern readers in India to Ephraim himself and to his poetry, to his thought. Now, this actually is very important in the Syriac tradition because until the time of, well, the latter half of the 20th century, when Beck's, Edmund Beck's editions were published, knowledge of the genuine Ephraim was hard to come by. It was available in the great editions of Asimani from the 18th century, but it, in those volumes, genuine and not genuine Ephraim were not distinguished. And there's a great deal of Syriac texts not by Ephraim attributed to him. Oh. As a result, um, it's very hard for people who don't know the edition of Beck to know what is good, what is what is genuine, what is not so genuine. And a lot of the not genuine is actually not very good either. And so one can get the wrong impression. I remember talking to one Indian student once who said, I find Ephraim very boring. When I asked what he'd been reading, of course, it was pseudo Ephraim. It wasn't genuine Ephraim. <laughs> so this is a real problem. And it's a very important role that Father Thomas has, has played by introducing the real Ephraim to, wow. um, to everyone, really. So that, that um, I think, is uh, the main point to make. Now, on a broader scale, uh, Father Thomas, has, of course, has spent his whole uh, teaching life at Siri, and um, in that role, he has obviously played a very important part in the well, the development of uh, Saint Ephraim Ecumenical Research Institute itself, and in teaching. Uh, in, uh, beginners uh, in the Syriac tradition about the Syriac tradition. So he has inspired <clears throat> a, quite a number of students who have gone on to uh, do doctorates, wh whether it be in India or elsewhere. Uh, I've had several uh, students from Syria who did an MA in Syria, and then they came and uh, got much more or more, more experience by doing the MST, which I taught in Oxford, where we read at a rather higher level and much more widely. So um, in um, this respect, too, I think Father Thomas has done a great uh, service to Syriac studies uh, in, um, <clears throat> in Kerala, and also an aspect which I highly respect in him is the way that he has always uh, wanted to revive in some sense and adapt to modern um, times the, uh, the approach, the ascetic approach of the Banaikiyama. And this, this is the early um, Syriac ascetic tradition, which you find in Afrahat and in uh, Ephraim, which is pre-monastic. And oh. uh, for a long time, um, I know that Father Thomas was wanting to found a monastery to live, try and live this life. And uh, on my various visits to Syria for the conferences every four years, each time Father Thomas would take me to the site of land that he'd bought. First yes. of all, it was just the site of land, and he kindly asked me to plant a tree, uh, both in my name and in my wife Helen's name. <laughs> and then the next four years, I came and saw the tree flourishing and the beginnings of the building. And then uh, finally, <clears throat> my last visit, which I forget which year that was, but, it, it, but at least six or seven years ago now, 
um, the monastery was built with its ch chapel and um, a collection of manuscripts. And this was uh, such a joy to see that this um, this wish of Father Thomas had come into existence. The only yes. tragedy is that his illness made it impossible for him to re reside there uh, um, until th this time. So this is a, another important aspect, the, the liturgical life. He was very keen to um, maintain the Syria Malabar traditional liturgical life in Syriac. And I, I, I highly respect this. It's obviously not everyone's um, cup of tea, but I was surprised at the number of people who came along to these services. And um, if you haven't come across him, uh, you should get in touch with one of his disciples, the Dr. Amel, because he has uh, been in close contact with uh, Father Thomas since he's um, been in these various homes and uh, is, I suppose, the person who perhaps knows him best. So he, he's, his um, contribution would be important to